Strong shoulders are not only about big deltoid muscles. The shoulder is a very complex joint and a lot of muscles from your upper body are involved in every movement you do with it. A strong shoulder is mobile, stable and free of pain. The shoulder is a muscle stabilized ball and socket joint and muscles like the lats, the pecs, the complete rotator cuff and even the long head of your biceps and triceps play a big role for your shoulder strength, mobility and stability. To understand how the shoulder joint works, we have to take an eye on the movements that we can do with it. Your shoulder can move in different ways. You can do the extension and flexion, the abduction and adduction, and the internal and external rotation. combination of all these movements is what makes a shoulder so complex and unique. To build up a strong shoulder you should be able to move freely through all these positions and should also be able to stabilize them. Most shoulder problems occur because of too little stabilization, by too much pressure or through unbalanced loads. To avoid that we will show you different exercises which will build up bulletproof and healthy shoulders. One of the best exercises you can do is done with a resistance band. As you can see, the shoulder gets through all mentioned positions in a combined complex movement. This will keep your shoulder mobile and strong. To work on your shoulder extension and flexion, you can use a stick, a towel or a band. Leave your spine as neutral as possible and only use your arms. The shoulder flexion will help you to get a better handstand and the shoulder extension can help you with the transition for the muscle up. Keep in mind that it's okay if your range of motion is limited in the beginning. Just work with what is possible for you and improve yourself step by step. Another great exercise to work on the shoulder extension is the reverse plank bridge. You switch between a passive and an active movement. Aim for a shoulder wide grip and straight arms. The back bridge, the one-arm back bridge and the downward dog are also great to open up the shoulders and to improve your handstand and stretch your pecs, lats and the long head of the biceps. Another strengthening exercise is done directly in the handstand position. Kick up with your belly facing the wall and push your shoulder blades up and down. Aim for straight arms and a neutral spine. To work on your shoulder strength you can also include some circles by laying in a prone position. Take care that you don't overextend your spine. This is not an arch up. The goal is to move your arms from the front to the back and rotate them during the movement. Before we move on to the exercises on the pull-up bar, here is a general tip. When you do a push-up, a plank or even a pull-up, you should aim for an external rotation. This is the most stable position for your shoulders and you will avoid injuries in the long term. On the pull-up bar you are starting with the active and passive hang. 
You hang from a bar and pull your shoulder blades down and together. Release the tension slowly and repeat. It's also possible to do it with one arm and add rotations to it. This is a more advanced exercise, so start with a passive and active hang on both arms first. The last exercise on the bar is skin the cat. This is one of the most comprehensive exercises for the shoulder. In the first part you hang on the bar and tuck your knees. This opens up your shoulder because it tilts your pelvis backwards. This hang alone is great for shoulder flexion. It stretches your lats and your pecs. From there you pull yourself up and bring your body to the second part of the movement. The transition from the first to the second part activates a lot of muscles in your shoulders and around your shoulder blades. In the backward position you will improve your shoulder extension. You can use an over or an underhand grip, but the underhand grip will allow you a wider range of motion and will stretch your pecs and the long head of the biceps more as the overhand grip. All of the mentioned exercises can also be performed on rings. Rings in general are one of the best tools to improve shoulder strength, mobility and stability. Hanging from the rings is different to hanging from the bar, because they allow you to move your shoulder more freely. The same goes for all supporting movements, but be careful, it's a lot harder to support yourself on the rings instead of hanging on them. Besides the support holds, you can work with ring rotations in this position. These rotations are great to strengthen your rotator cuff and your biceps. Of course, there are also different exercises you can do on the rings. 360 body rotations are a great example. You can adjust the difficulty by placing the body more vertical or more horizontal. The more vertical, the easier, the more horizontal, the harder it gets. Passing the rings from one hand to the other and stabilizing yourself is quite challenging and really good for your shoulder extension and rotation. The last exercise for this video are the ring rows with rotations. Here you can also change the difficulty by placing your body more horizontal or vertical. As in most exercises, aim for an external rotation to get the shoulder joint in the most stable position. If you want to build up a strong and healthy body, you should check our workout programs or sign up for an online personal training to get the most out of your time for workouts. We now have a summer ending sale with a discount of 20% for all bundles from the 25th until the end of August. So take your chance and order now. As always, leave your comments for further discussion. Thanks, Alex.